So today we are looking at a new update that is going to be coming soon to the treasure track in Prodigy. So let's go ahead and get into what was found out yesterday by the time this is being uploaded. The treasure track was officially updated in game and we are going to be going over what this means and how this is going to work or at least speculate it on it when we get through this video. So let's go ahead and pull up the treasure track. As we see yesterday or today as I'm recording this, the uh, the graphics were updated. As you see, I'm not sure if this is just glitched or permanent. Things just look a little different. I'm leaning on the side of it's just a little glitched. Maybe it'll go back to the old or the original graphics pretty soon. But as you see, these are of course all the levels of the treasure track and it is taking a long time to complete because of the point system being very restricting. If you play the uh, maximum amount pretty much, then you can only be at a certain level. So everyone who plays the same amount is about on level treasure 22 or 23 by now. So as of this point, it's impossible to be at treasure 30. You can't finish it until later on in the treasure track, but that, well, actually, yeah, I would say it pretty much takes almost towards the entire end of the treasure track for you to be able to finish it. But that changes soon because um, a new tab was added to the quest section. As you see, we have all of our quests down here, all of our um, daily, weekly, and season quests. I've already done all of them at this point. I've done all the season ones and the weekly ones and daily ones have not yet reset, but we have a new section over here called bonus. And this is looking like it is going to be very cool down here we see the icon for Mamau and is saying that more quests will unlock in nine days. I assume by the time that this is being posted it'll say eight days for everyone else. And um well as we see these quests are locked and they are well pretty similar. They're quite similar to the seasonal quests. As we see, the first one here is to correctly answer 500 math questions, but see how many points it is worth. 10,000. That is worth 10,000 points. And just to answer 500 math questions, that's insane. 10,000 points? I mean, 500 math questions takes a while, but to get 10,000 points, that is totally worth it. I mean, these are taking a very long time to complete. The season quests, sorry, the weekly quests in total only get you about like 8,800 points in total every week. So that is uh, less than just one of these quests will get you. And these, like I said, they are quite similar to the season quests, but the season quests only give you 2,000 points and one of them gives you 4,000. So, I mean, that's quite a lot higher. 10,000? Um, yeah, just answer 500 math questions and you'll get 10,000 points. I mean, I think this is very helpful. The second one goes to uh, evolving your pets, just like the other quests have. But I don't know how many pets this requires. The season one requires five pets. I don't know if this is... Uh, higher or not but it is also worth 10,000 points and then we have of course cast 90 physical spells which is the same as the season one and then cast 90 astral spells 90 shadow 90 water 90 fire 90 plant 90 ice 90 storm and we also have earned 7,500 pet experience which is also the same as the season quest except all of them are worth 10,000 points points each and that's just insane um this is going to help a lot for completing the treasure track it'll actually make you be able to complete it faster than just the set time uh is well d 
set for how long it takes you to get the amount of points it requires for you to get through these levels because at treasure 22 you're at 6,500 points it'll just keep going up by 1,500 points every like five levels so yeah this is insane all of these quests combined give you a total of 110,000 points so that's just, that's crazy. That's over 100,000 points. And that, I don't know if that's enough to get you through the entire treasure track, but I doubt it. I kind of doubt it. Well, actually it might be, it might be enough. I think that is enough to get you through it, but we'll have to wait and see. Um, so it looks like in about nine days, you should be able to finish the treasure track. The more I think about it, it does seem like, yes, that should, 110,000 points should get you through the rest of the treasures, even though they do keep increasing. It won't increase by that much more. It should be about 9,500 points at treasure 30, or maybe uh, 11,000, because that one increases, I think, the last one. I'm not entirely sure, but 110,000 points should definitely get you up there. So I guess in nine days, you should be able to complete it. If you uh, work hard and complete all of these uh, quests and you're already at like treasure 22, I think I, by the time I'm uploading this, I'll probably be at treasure 23 because the daily quests will reset and I can get those and I can get past treasure 22. But I think I mean, I think this is going to be great. It doesn't really stop the, like, the grinding process when trying to play this and get these rewards. I get that it's supposed to be hard, and it really is, but this doesn't really stop that because these quests are quite difficult to complete. It takes, I mean, a lot of playing to complete the season quests. If you play, well, as much as possible, you can probably get them done in, like, a day, but, um, yeah, it, it just takes a while, and I think that this is just a great uh, addition to have the season quests, basically, but then worth even more points by, like, a lot. And so, I don't know if these are going to reset at all. I don't know if they're like the season ones and don't reset at all. We're going to have to wait and see on that. But in about eight days, we should be able to um, complete the treasure track and well, get these uh, crazy amounts of points. So, well, be excited for that. I think this is a great update and something that the treasure track definitely needs if it's going to continue to be uh, this hard and take this long to complete. So we'll see if this is implemented into future seasons as well. So what are your thoughts about this new upcoming update to the treasure track that will allow you to complete it faster? Let me know all of your thoughts in the comments.